Okay, so my brother is here. Yeah, yeah. Hello. It's been too long, G. Easy. In entirely too long. Entirely too long. I've missed you. I miss you too. Yeah. And the thing that hurts my heart more is that you actually live in New York and you've yeah. been here for a while now. Yeah, I owe you an apology. I should have came and tapped in much sooner. Yeah, but it's okay. You're doing yeah. your thing, you know? So what was your reasoning for moving to New York? Because I had yeah. saw that it was because you were grieving, you lost your mom, mm -hmm. and so that was the catalyst behind moving here? Yeah. I, I was just, you know, you get to a certain point in life, you feel like you need a change. Um, mm -hmm. And that could come in, in many different forms. I was living in L.A., and, you know, I mean, we're from the Bay, so, you know, L.A. wasn't home, and I wasn't mm -hmm. really... I, I felt like I had to live there for, um, you know, for, like... Uh, in the music industry, yeah. you're supposed to be in LA or whatever, but I'm not. I'm not messing with this, and I'm like, you know, I've always wanted to be in New York. Mm -hmm. Finally, I was like, you know, yeah, you 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 could if you wanna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you could live I here. I mean, you could just do it. Yeah. Like, you get like nobody's making you stay here, you yeah. know. And I was like, yeah, and I just did it, went for it, and I planned on being bicoastal. Mm -hmm. And uh, like a week or two in, I was like, I ain't going back. <laughs> like, this is way more lit. You know what? I'm biased, but I do think New York City is the greatest city in the world. It's the I greatest do. city in the world, yeah. Truly, it has everything. There's a vibe. There, it's just a, it's just different in so many beautiful ways. And and it's, you know, you yeah. living in LA, that's not home for you. Nah, nah. But I think New York's diversity yeah. is like, I call it a kaleidoscope of cultures. Mm -hmm. You know, because two blocks this way, you're in a different world. Like Absolutely. three blocks that way, you're in a different world. And like, and and that kind of like, you know, it's a playground. Like it's, it's in, and I'm just a fascinated person mm -hmm. constantly. I'm, I'm just like curious about the world. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I've gotten to travel and see a lot of the world. And, you know, being in New York, man, it's just, you know, the, the culture, the energy, yeah. the vibe, it's just, it's alive. Yeah. It's but, so alive. But you still got the bay with you. Look, I mean, oh, yeah. look, Come look hello. at the look. Yeah. Look, I see yeah. it. <laughs> it's, it's in me, not on me, baby. You know what I mean? You feel me? Come ah. on now. Hello. Okay, so how much mm. of the album did you record here for your new album, Freak Show? I would say at least half. Yeah. Oh, that's a good amount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... I mean, basically, it was like come to New York and and do a record here, like like make an album in this energy. I did I did a, a lot of it in Paris and London. Mm -hmm. That sounds so clean. That, <laughs> it just sounds like wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But wow. I was like, look, I mean, you know, I've been in this game, you know, now over ten years. Yes. You know, with RCA and you know, fifth album and blessed to be here. Like oh, like yeah. really, 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 you know, this stuff doesn't just happen. You know, it's a lot of hard work. And I just mm -hmm. felt like, look, man, I want to make the record I want to make. Mm -hmm. And and I want to go do it in New York. I want to soak up this energy. I want to, you know, you know, get French Montana on it. And I want to be out here, you know, yeah. like, and, and, and yeah, I mean, so it was, yeah. it was what I wanted to make. Three words to describe Freak Show. Man, well, Freak Show is two words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say... Uh, human, mm. um, vulnerable, and you know, authentic, yeah. uh, and and that's the concept of free show. Is like, you know, we're, we're so much pressure in today's world with Instagram and how oh, we have gosh. to present ourselves as picture perfect and all this. You know, deep down, we, we all have flaws and scars right. and and issues, and and we and we have to suppress them. And I just wanted to tell like a real human story in the most raw, real, truthful way. Yeah, of like this is who I am, where I've come from. You know, insecurities or trauma or you know pain or you know struggle or this, that, and the other. You know, and or, or craziness or oh, mental, yes. you know what I'm saying? And reveal these things. And and I think when an artist can do that, you know, there's relatability. People can identify. Oh, it's yeah. like, oh, sh he's he's going through that? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Now I'm not so alone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And how did you come up with the name Freak Show? It just came. I don't know. It was like a year and a half ago. We did this, like, creative retreat to just sit with some of the music early on mm -hmm. and uh, brainstorm, you know, mood boards you know, what's it going to look like, feel like. And I've always loved the kind of, like, dark circus, carnival, mm -hmm. freak show, like, you know, aesthetic and, and world. And that name just came. Do you feel like you've been a freak show? You're in a freak show. What, yeah. What is it? Is it just constantly feeling like the pressures of the entertainment industry that you always have to be on? You always, always have, have to, to be, be on. entertaining. And, and, man, if, you, if you're if you not for a second or something, or you know, they rip you apart. Oh, I mean, yeah. Kyle, you... you 
you read these comments, you read, you know what I mean, how people, like, you know, you slip one time, or you, you know what I mean, you misstep, or you, you know. Or you want to take a break. Or (laughs) want to take a break. God forbid you're a human being. You know what I mean? You just need a moment to yourself. Yeah, and they they just, like, you know, they they rip you apart. So, I mean, but it is what it is. You got to have, you got to have thick skin to, to, to be in this bag. But do you ever get annoyed because you're just like, I need a moment? Because, you know, you kind of, I feel like you retreated a little bit. For sure. But it's like you're coming off three albums that went platinum, yeah. right? You've done so much. Yeah, work. Say again, that. Let's Hello. Say it again. <laughs> Hello. I know you're too kind and too humble, <laughs> but three albums that went platinum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think the second one's double platinum. Whew. And wait, so do you ever think to yourself when you're hearing feedback and criticism, you're just like, but do you know the work, the hard energy, like just everything that went into yeah. this? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, do you put your phone away or is there someone in your yeah. life that's like, yo, don't even entertain it. Just put I it. Mean, I mean, it's, it's, I try to, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good at like, cause you gotta be internally tough. That's, that's just, yeah. you know, like you were talking about, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like Colin, you gotta, you gotta ha- keep your head down, keep working it and not let it, let it pinch and break through your, your spirit because, yeah. you know, what matters most is the work. Like, look. You know, the lucky people in life find what they love to do in life because mm-hmm. not everybody does. Mm-hmm. And the luckiest people get to do it every day, you know. You so so day. at the end of the day, man, I, I get to do what I love and what brings me happiness. And, you know, if there's something that comes with it, yeah, duh. Yeah. You know, so. Was there any criticism along the way that fueled you in a different way and that it's something you, you'll never forget? Man, uh, <laughs> I got I got a list. <laughs> <Sheesh>. <laughs> nah, you know, you know what really struck me is like, like somebody coming up to me on the street or something, um, and and yo yo are you Jeezy? And I'm like you know yeah I'm Jeb what's up like yo, can I get a picture man are you still making music? And I was just like, <laughs> oh yes. man okay I'm going straight to the studio right now because you got me entirely messed up like you know what I mean like I live in this lab every single night I'm I work my butt out like you know what I mean so. But what do you think that is? Do you think it's just. I, you know, there's so much music, there's so much out there, there's so yeah. much in the news, but it's also, like, okay for you to take your time to create a body of work. Like, you mm-hmm. aren't in the same position that you were 10 years ago. No, no. God, and God forbid, like, you know, people grow, mature, evolve, Thank God, change. right? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. you, you want me to be a robot and keep making one thing over and over and over? I'm right. not, like, you know, I'm not Coca-Cola. I'm right. not, you know what I'm saying? Like, things, things have to, this is art, you know? That's right. Yeah. Now, on the album, you got a song with Coyla Ray and Callie. Mm-hmm. It's very cheatery vibes, like, you know, very toxic. Yeah. I mean, you, your, your lyrics are... But, but it's also, like, a normalizing, like, like, like openness as well. Of course. And that was my intention. And But also, what was very important for me is, is like, the, the, the recalibrating the balance of, you know what I'm saying, not only, like, like... I'll, I'll get to the landscape of the rap game and how how rightfully so. I mean, women are beating our like, yes for like, sure. Kicking, women like, are doing like destroying it. us. Yeah, and I'm so like yeah. You know I mean, it's yeah. just beautiful because it has been so out of whack for so long. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And now you have more successful female rappers right now. I'd say than men, like by, by far. far. By and far. it's and it's amazing to see. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to do a record with you know what I'm saying two yeah. female MCs. I really do respect. But um, but subject matter wise, even you know, what I'm saying so much of hip hop had always been like, you know, I could cheat, I'm a da 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 da. But but you know, what I'm saying and and uh, degrading women is, and as far as to like, you know, the bar about being a feminist, it's like, yo, there's no judgment. Like you do your thing too. You mm-hmm. know, what I'm saying I'm not gonna judge you. I'm not hating on you. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying more power to you. It's okay. Like yeah. you know, what I'm live saying live your life. We can live your life. <laughs> do what you want. You know, yeah. what I'm saying like. And, um, and and yeah, I just felt like that was so it's so it's cheatery as you say, but it's also it's like, hey man, if that's your speed, that's your speed. Exactly. You do you, boo. <laughs> <laughs> you feel <know what laughs> I me? Mean? When was the last time you were knowingly a side piece and you were okay with it? Oh man, knowingly a side piece. Um, I'm only going off of the song because it's yeah, you know, very telling. Yeah. Um, I've, 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 I've knowingly been side pieces before, yeah, for sure. But <gasps> but you know what doesn't like what doesn't bother you when you're that is that they're a side piece to you too. It's like you know yeah. we're just we're both each other side pieces. We're like no, you know Gerald. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, you know. But every every like dynamic is not the same. Like mm-hmm. you know you don't have to want to be with it, like every person you're involved with. It's like you may you may right. be involved with somebody and you're like. 
yo, this is fun. You know, mm -hmm. this is this is something light. We're just, you know, like as long as you're upfront and open and transparent. Absolutely. You know, I think those are important things. Like very. Um, but then there's sometimes it's like, yo, I I really want this. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm gonna let you know. Yeah. And if they're if they're on that same time, cool. Great. But if they're not, you know what I'm saying? That yeah. communication is just so important. It is. Absolutely. It's hard, but it's yes, that's real important. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what would you say that you've learned the most from your past relationships? Now that you're <laughs> Okay, we're getting into this. Yeah, I mean, you know, at, I know where, it's yeah, it's yeah. me and you. Okay. Yeah. Um where you are now and you look back and you reflect and you're like, you know what? Yeah. I learned communication. I communication, learned really, you know. And like I said, it could be hard. Um, but healthy communication, you know, patient communication, Ooh. listening communication, not just keep like not just speaking and talking, but listening. Listening is is more important than speaking a lot Ooh. of times. And it's and it's often disregarded when it comes to the thought of communication. You think you're communicating. You can communicate by listening too. That's that's Isn't that just <laughs> a half level? the equation? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's it's a lot to take in. You know, the power of listening is so important, and it's painful because yeah. you might hear some things that you might not like about yourself. Mm -hmm. When you look back in your experiences, is there anything that you wish you could have done differently? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. How much time we got? <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? That's yeah. that's life. The and journey. Some, you know, like the learning curve is, oh, is not yeah. always just like a linear, like like straight line. You know, yeah. I wish it was. Um, I think, you know, for whatever reason, I don't know if it's the, like therapy finally kicking in and like, mm -hmm. you know, working or like, but um, I've, I've felt a lot of lessons kind of catching up to me recently. Wow. And it's like all like ramping up and making sense. And of course, you wish you would have knew these things or known how to act younger you know when you earlier in life when you know certain mistakes were made yeah. and yada yada you yeah. know where i'm going but yeah. you know um just you get what you give and how you treat people and you know and um and and there's there's healthy selfish and then there's unhealthy selfish Ooh, this like, is a bar serious. right here yeah 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 and there's healthy selfless and there's unhealthy selfless mm -hmm. so like being a healthy selfish is prioritizing yourself in a taking care of yourself That's in right. your wellness way. That's right. Unhealthy selfish is just is you know like it, overly indulgent and in, you know like what you want at all times at the take, cost take, of take, others. Take take take, 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 take. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's not. And healthy selfless is is knowing when to give and to mm -hmm. you know trust and to listen and this that, and the other and 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 unhealthy selfless. So that's healthy, but unhealthy selfless is when you just your wellness is being like crippled oh, yes. and crumbled for the sake of you know yes. what I'm saying. So where do you think you fell on that spectrum? Oh, I've been unhealthy selfish a lot. Ooh. I've I've been narcissistic. I've been I've been cruel. I've been you know I've. You know, I've, I've I've done terrible things like lie, mm -hmm. and hide from you know hide things from you know and and this that and the other and um, you know all you can do is reflect on it, and learn from it, and take accountability of it and yeah. um, you know. Do you feel like, and I don't know if it's something you worked on in therapy, are you supposed to call people from your past that you might have done wrong and, like, apologize? Or is it closure within self? I think it's case by case. <laughs> have you done both? Uh, some of both, yeah, for sure. Wow. That's yeah. big. Mm -hmm. That's hard. Yeah. <laughs> that's very hard. Because I'm trying to think of everyone who did me wrong. I don't mm -hmm. think anyone's ever apologized. But yeah. I think that's, like, a misunderstanding that people should apologize. Because... Yeah. Not I, everybody's I have one going ex, to. I have one ex um, that I have one of, like, of the healthiest friendships now with that's completely yeah. platonic. That it's, it's really cool how, what, like, what place we're in because it's like it's so far from anything intimate. It's been so long since it was that. Yeah. A romantic, you know, and we're able to – because you can – once you remove the romance and intimacy aspect of a relationship away and you, you still have love for that person, oh, you still yes. have a friendship with that person – and it can be hard to like completely separate those for some people or in some circumstances. Yeah. But in this case, it's one of those I'm really grateful for the platonic friendship we have now because I can, we can easily kind of unpack, you yeah. know, a lot of those hurtful things that happened yeah. way back then. And 
and you know, and, and then be hella honest with each other now. <laughs> oh yeah, brutally <laughs> you know honest. I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see yourself in a relationship now, like moving forward as you have been through all this, and you're just like, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm a lo lover boy. I know. <laughs> I'm a lover boy. Okay, so that means no. That's what all that to say. <laughs> well, you know, a monogamous relationship. Yeah, for sure. Is that something you? Would yeah, because be? when, you know, when you got something so good, like these others can't even mess with with my. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like y'all not even like on her level. <laughs> you feel yeah, me? but when someone listens to the music, I mean, when yeah. you're talking about lady killers on here and just all the things but lady killers like i wrote the original like you know eight ten years ago yeah, but uh, this is okay so this is part three yeah okay. but what i'm a, now I'm, a, I'm gonna put new verses that's like but i'm not no lady killer no more <laughs> like nah nah you know yeah. I mean? but then there's art and there's life you know and, and art doesn't always imitate life or yeah or it could imitate a part of your life you know what i'm saying yeah a part yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. not the whole pot. <laughs> just a little be, slice. You know what? I, I'm just, you know, all the experiences, I'm always so curious. You're in this life, lots of success. You know, I'm always say, curious. Say it again for the kids in the yeah, back. Yeah, right. The success, the <laughs> platinum of, records, the this and the that. Of, Do you want to settle down? You know? Um, I'll say it like this. Uh, you know, and, and this will relate. So the difference between, like, an athlete and an artist, um, you know, speaking on Colin, like, when you love something, you just keep doing it regardless Ooh. because you love it, you know? That's right. Um, eventually, the the hard truth is that his body will deteriorate mm -hmm. with old age. You know what I'm saying? And and that that is a subtle difference between art and, and sport because, you know, although your mind will deteriorate eventually, but, sure. but it's, you know, or like a painter can't hold a brush the same way when he's 80 or something, you know what I mean? But... But it lasts a lot longer because cause you love it the same way. So you do it because you love it and you can't. It's just because of what I have to do because yes. I love this thing, you know. But I have longer, like, my body's not going to tell me when I can't do it anymore mm -hmm. in the same way. So I think I'll always be, you know, I'll always make music. I'll always write. I'll always express myself. But, you know, I don't know if it'll always be as G-Easy or, you know, in this That's current right. form. So. Mm -hmm. That's the answer. You said your song Anxiety was your favorite song to make. Currently. Until Currently, I make another until, one. <laughs> okay, I was going to ask. Is uh, it yeah, still yeah. true to this moment right now? Uh, I think so. Yeah, but I'm going to the studio tonight, so <laughs> I might make something new tonight. It's my favorite, you know? What made Anxiety the, the song that you love right now, your favorite one to make? Yeah, well, for one, I, I've always been into a lot of different types of music. Sure. Exposed to a lot growing up. I mean, in the Bay, it's like mm -hmm. it's another kaleidoscope of cultures. It's like you know, sure. it's, you got so many different like. And I was, you know, around like rock music. I was around alternative. I was around rap. Obviously, mm -hmm. you know, I, my grandpa would play old country. You know what I'm saying? And classical and stuff. And like, so I was, you know, when it came to that song, it was like combining a lot of different influences. It samples mm -hmm. the Clash, you know, yeah. but then it's 808 drums under it. But then the hook. You know, is this chanty thing I tried to make anthemic, but it's about something that's real vulnerable and 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 real. Mm -hmm. and I didn't want to make a song crying about those things. I wanted to make it something that people could like dance to or like yeah. feel uplifted by, so they feel like they're beating these things. Yeah, and letting go of them. Um, so I mean, there was layers on layers, and then I'm calling myself out, kind of like oh, guilty yes. conscience, you know, and. Uh, yeah, I felt yeah. the the M reference in yeah. there, the guilty yeah, yeah, conscience yeah. for sure. Yeah, we, by the way, the album is crazy. <laughs> like, <laughs> yes. yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, I, I are you to okay? It. I, Where are we at right now? Because <laughs> the body of work like, is, yeah, it's crazy. Like, it I, is. I literally, I was, I was, <laughs> I was on my way to see my therapist, and I was listening to it the whole way there, and I was like, I was, I was, I was like, yo, this. Crazy, yeah. and I got to my therapist, and she goes, "You know how you feeling?" I'm like, "I feel great." Yeah, and she was like, "Oh, we love this for you. What's what's up?" I was like, "Eminem put some good music out." Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> yo, the album is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. M, M, you know what? That's the beauty of art. Like you were yeah. just saying, like when you look at how long you can create art for, and when you love mm -hmm. something that much, and you can keep doing it, what a blessing! What a blessing! Yeah, it, it's truly a blessing. I want to talk about your song, one of my favorite. It's in my head, which okay, samples tattoo sure. all the yeah. things that she said. Okay, first off, as a kid, I remember that song. Yeah. 
crazy. Yeah. And it's so funny when you listen to songs that you used to listen to when you were younger. You're like, wait, what was I listening to back yeah, then? This yeah, yeah. Like, what's it, happening? Because a lot of it probably went over you. you For know what I mean? sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so tell me about In My Head. What are you in your head about? All right, so that song is really important um, because I wanted to tell the side of the story of, you know, and I talked about, you know, balance of, you know, kind of like gender roles and stuff. It's taking accountability for, you know, the story of the guy who's tripping and going crazy and, and, and double texting and, you know what I'm saying, and is saying all this stuff, like long, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Because that's that's real. Like, have you done that double like, text? I mean, I've, I've I've been there, you know. But I also know I just pay attention and I, I soak up stories from sure, of course. You know, a lot of so every time I write, it's not like first hand yeah. necessarily, but but that's that's a real thing. And it's like you know, so much of rap is always like never taking the cool off and always you know being on the winning side of everything and always you know what I'm saying. But like that's it's not everybody's world. That's not everybody's life. Oh no. And and it's like. And and so telling the story of the girl being the powerful, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like not dangling the carrot, but like, you know what I mean? Like power player for yeah, sure. For sure. And and the dude like like being pressed on her. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And but how you're driving her crazy, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I don't know. When was the last time someone broke your heart? Oh man. Like a for real broke your heart where you yeah. were devastated. Yeah, when I moved to New York. No. No, nah, I, I, yeah, I met this girl and I was like, um, I was like, man, it's crazy about her. And then she just ghosted. I was like, well, she ghosted you? Yeah, for a little bit. That, <gasps> but I was like, yo, that must be New York. Like, of course, <laughs> I, I get here and I immediately just get cooked. <laughs> Wait, is that the song Backseat? Is that who it's about? Nah. nah okay, because there's seat, a lot of New York, New yeah, York yeah, energy sure. on that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Backseat, I mean, the backseat could have been anybody. That, that was a fictional character. Okay. okay. But, um, but yeah, it was, you know, going to the box, you know, going out, you know what I'm saying, little you sister. You got ghosted? <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> read them and weep. Wait, there's a first time for everything. Hey, yeah, come on. Hello. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Mm. In my head, now, that, I'm going to look at that song completely different yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. But I love it. But but there's something human about, you know, oh. you want what you can't have or you want what's out of reason. And then, the, you know, the, what's what's easier, just always there is like the one you don't want. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like. Do you feel, do you feel like the one got away? Mm. Nah. <laughs> I could get her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this and I got it. I mean, I ended up getting it. It, yeah. it didn't go so long. <laughs> Oh, man. But, but them couple of weeks was painful. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I can't imagine all the things you, you know, experienced while putting this album together. But on a more <clears throat> serious note, yeah. this got my heart. Yeah, yeah. Love you forever. We have to talk about it. And you yeah. know what? Now that I'm a mom, yeah. this hits so different, by mm -hmm. the way. And hearing your mom's voice on the intro, oh my God, when I tell you, I can't even look you in your eyes right I now. Know, my I know. Heart, I'm going to start crying too. Like. My heart hurt so much. And, you know, because you're someone I care about and I've seen your journey over the past couple of years and, you know, your mom transitioning, it's to see everything that you've been going through and then to hear it on Love You Forever. Yeah. Okay, so how many times did you cry creating this? Oh, my God, I couldn't get through it. Yeah. It took all day. Um, we just had to go piece by piece and take breaks and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I'm not even going to say, like, real men cry. R real real human beings cry, I think. Mm -hmm. And it's important. Um, and grieving is a not linear process. Um, but you do have to. The only way, I, you know, as I've learned and Oof. been told, is that you have to feel it all to... To, to process it like otherwise it's just gonna stay knotted up inside of you yeah so that for me you know I knew that there had to be you know a song for my mom on the album that was just you know if I have 13 slots you know that's the most important slot of the that's 13 right. and so I'd written a few songs for her Angel you know, I yeah, remember when yeah, you put yeah, out yeah. Angel yeah it was like three or four more you know that I did in the writing process and then like out of out of nowhere, the back of my brain, you know, I probably hadn't thought of this book in thirty years. Like I remembered that book, the the Love You Forever, the mm -hmm. children's book, and because she's a read to me, and I, I remember I was like the, cause, uh, so those that don't know, it's this this um, children's book, and it starts with a mother and a newborn, 
and the next page is like a toddler and the oh, next yeah. page is like in elementary and the next page is like an adolescent kid and he mm-hmm. comes in that was my favorite he has sneakers <laughs> bubble gum blowing backwards hat mm-hmm. pss, like walkman you know what i mean mm-hmm. like causing a ruckus and then you know it's going to college and then it, and and then it's him coming back home to take care of his mom like when she transitions mm-hmm. and then um I, I i was like what if i wrote the song kind of mm-hmm. in those stages every verse is a different chapter of life that's right and um yeah, I mean, my mom was my hero. She was oh, my yeah. rock. She was my everything. And I think women are superheroes, and, and mothers particularly are the superheroes of the universe. Like, oh, yeah. Y'all are phenomenal, and we appreciate you. Mm-hmm. And, you know what I'm saying? And Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it, it gets me every time. How how often do you listen to any of the voicemails? Do you, I'm assuming you've well, kept them all yeah, at this point, yeah. whatever you had. Yeah. I, um, very sparingly because they're precious, and I also... Mm. You know, like, I, I I have a few in my old phone, like, and, you know, when you, and I, I wanted one for the end. Um, Oof, yeah. Yeah. And I just, um, I, I, I just, I, I did one of those, like, scrolls like that, you know, and I almost just, like, with my eyes closed, I picked one. And the, the one I landed on, I had never heard, but it was... Her calling me when um, it's like 2016 or something, 15, like when my grandma on my dad's side had passed, mm. and um, it's her talking about you know yeah. loss and transition, and um, and I used that, chopped it up, you know. Mm-hmm. As a, Ooh, man, yeah. <laughs> that that's that's tough. Can you listen to the song right now? No. Nah. No. Is it one like is it one of those songs you just like okay that's gonna stay yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was like that with "Everything Will Be Okay." This song I did on my second album, and I remember when we were on tour, my managers would want me to perform it because it would be a big part of the show. Oh yeah. You know, and I would have to say, yeah, I, I can't do this every night. I'm sorry, I can't, um, because the energy required to get up and do that oh. is just so like heavy for me. Yeah. It's not something I could do every day. And I also, I would never want a song that special and that, like, meaningful to ever become muscle memory. Or numb. Yeah. That would be, like, heartbreaking. Yeah. If it was just something I was just, re- like, memorized the lines of and I was just up there going through the motions. Yeah. Like, so, you know. When you finished that song, who did you let listen to it first? Mm. Um, I don't know first, but I remember um, my old manager, Jamil. Mm-hmm. Shout out Jamil Davis, Big Juice. Mm-hmm. Um, I played it for him, and man, we both had a big cry. Yeah. And he was very tight, very close to my mom. Mm. Um, like they were like, you know, what I'm saying. And uh, he was like, "This was the song I was waiting for the whole album that I wanted to hear from you." Would you say that's that was the hardest song to make for the album? Yeah, I mean, well, at least record. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for, for sure. recording. I can't even imagine yeah. making I, it was making it was writing it was fairly easy. It was just you know it was like I was just it. penning a letter to her. You know, yeah. it was like you Oof. know, it was a spin my last on you, so you ain't had to worry when the rent was due. Oh my. And then in the in the kind of lullaby tone, because yeah. you know, there's something motherly about like when you can't sleep or you have a nightmare when you're a little right. boy. You know what I mean? That she just rub your back, just say everything will be okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. What y'all you... got y'all got magic tricks. Y'all, man, moms are special. Oh yeah, moms are special. Yeah. What Shouts would... out to you, man. Congrats again. <laughs> Thank That's so you. Beautiful. What would you say was your mom's superpower? Being the coolest. Yeah. <laughs> she was so clean. She was way cooler than me. <laughs> <laughs> Any of my sauce, any of my dress, that's, that's all comes from her. She was just so effortlessly cool. She was just, man, I remember, like, like, like she she because she would come to a lot of my shows and, mm-hmm. you know, be backstage with the rappers and stuff. And, man, her and ASAP Rocky always had this bond. It was crazy. It oh, was like they would smoke together. You know, we played a couple of festivals together. And he, anytime he would see me, you know, he'd be like, where, where mom's at? You know, oh, that's my mom's too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, she was the coolest. How would you say you... Her superpower was just smoking. Just smoking. <laughs> she could smoke anybody under the table, yo. <laughs> I swear, like, I would have to tap out. Like, mom, I, 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 I gotta go to sleep. Oh. <laughs> She's like, sucker. 
<laughs> oh, everything you post about her is so beautiful. Everything. For someone who's on the outside looking in, it felt like we knew your mom. And right. because <clears throat> the way you uh, just held her such a high regard and how sweet. And yeah. Literally, we felt like we knew her. Yeah, yeah. So how how have you changed since her passing? Um, You know, I was... I was lost for a bit. I've gone in and out of being lost occasionally because your North Star is not there anymore. You're not on your own, buddy. Like, it's on you now. You know, stand up straight and, and know what you got to do. And, um, you know, sh but she gave me all that she, she could. And it was, That's you right. know, now now's my time. I, you know, I gave you what I have, you know. Yeah. And, and the lesson's up, kid. Yeah. You got it from here. Yeah. And you just got to remember that I got it from here. Yeah. One piece of advice for someone who may be dealing with grief right now. Um, you know, everybody's is different, but just to lean into the feeling, mm -hmm. you know, even though it's, it, it hurts, like, you know, you got to, you got to like, you got to feel it. You got to think about it. You can't just push it away, back burner it. You know, you got to face it head on Ooh. when you can at the right, right times. Yeah. For sure. And it's not easy. I know that I, you were very transparent, even on the album, and just talking about, you know, how much your mom loved you. And even in your post, when you're talking about, you didn't realize how much she loved you, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and now that you look back, I mean, that her letter to you was a catalyst of you going to go get treatment. Mm -hmm. What was it about your mom's letter? You're just like, you know what, I'm going to go get treatment. I, I'm going to do this. Mm -hmm. Here I am. Is Is... Um you know, I think sometimes we can lose track of how important it is to value and take care of yourself, you know, uh, you know, be well, be healthy. Um, and, you know, transparently, I'm not, like, perfect. I'm not, of you know, it, it was, you know, it's been a huge, like, overall learning experience That's in right. terms of, like, you know, everything's not, like, all in or not, you know, so I can't lie and say, it, you know, but... Like, the overall importance of wellness and taking care of oneself, you know? And I think that's all anybody who really loves somebody wants for them is, you know, is to, is to take care of themselves. That's I mean, right. she would ask all the time, you know, like, or, or, or you know, I'd, be, I'd, I'd leave from visiting her and she'd be like, take care of Gerald. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, and that's just important. And that's to come circling back of, like, there's a, there's a healthy selfishness. Yes. Yeah, and healthy selfishness is is putting yourself first at the right times and prioritizing your well being. Yeah, and you've been very honest, even on the album when you're talking about you know in and out of sobriety. How's that been for you? How's that experience? Just you know, a, mm -hmm. being transparent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In front of millions of people yeah. and sharing that experience. Yeah, because you know there's there's the personal aspect of it, uh, and and you know sometimes shame is attached of like. Yeah. You know, or then you don't want to be like an, a bad influence to anybody else, you know, whose journey or whatever, you know. And it's and a lot of these, a lot of times, you know, most people just keep all this, you know, to the to the to the neck, to the chest, like, you know. And um, but I mean, ultimately, I think balance is is important. And if you can find balance, then you know, and that's different for different people. Were you nervous at all ever sharing? Oh yeah, this? yeah, for sure. I mean, I I'm nervous. I'm way more nervous than than people would probably you know think about. I mean, I'm nervous for every single show. You know, I'm nervous Still, every time I yeah me. to this day. Like, I'm nervous when I put music out. I'm nervous, you know. what I'm saying before interviews, I'm mm -hmm. nervous. Like, and I think maybe not with you because we've known each other mm -hmm. so long and it's so comfortable. I'm it's like, like we're just literally no, yeah. we're just chilling in the living room, like. But, um, but, you know, like, I think being nervous is, like, if I was ever not nervous, that's the day I'm not fully, like, alive and present for it and appreciative of this all. That's right. So it's like, if that's the cost of doing business, I'll be nervous. Like, yeah. You know, because it almost pushes me that much, like, before I get on the stage to then get out there and, oh, yeah, <sighs> Right. Now let's go get this. Let's yeah. get this work. <laughs> let's yeah. go. Okay. <laughs> what would you say is the <clears throat> hardest part about the journey of sobriety? Um, For your experience. Obviously, everyone is different. Yeah. But you would say. I mean, you know, uh, like, and I'm not sober right now. But, like, yeah. um, was being comfortable, being uncomfortable and, um, you know, boredom and, um 
and and just like the, you know the persistence, the like the consistency, the you know every day is is it's work. It's you know? work. Work, work. So it's a lot of work, and you know, and yeah. and to be displaying it in front of everybody, you know, oh my you're God. not everybody's you're, in your business. Yes, you know and, what I'm saying. And and look, it's for this is gonna sound ironic given my line of work. But I'm a I'm a like pretty private person, mm-hmm. and I've I've had to become like like used to and 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 okay with everybody being in my business because it's just what comes with the job, you know. You're on display. You're a public figure. You're, you know, you're in the headlines or oh, know, yeah. people are in your business, you know. But deep down, like in in truth, I'm like I get socially claustrophobic and and like you know what I'm saying uncomfortable and. I, I like my alone time and privacy and mm-hmm. autonomy. Like, I need that, you oh, know? Yeah. I don't like everybody, you know, I don't like feeling like everyone's, like, uh, like swarming me and, like, you know what I'm saying, and, like, in my in my personal business and, you know what I'm saying? You've like, always been that way. Yeah, right? And it's so interesting for a lot of people who see you as a superstar, you're on stage, you know, you're in the headlines, but you're very to yourself. Yeah. For sure. Like when it's just you, you're like, oh my gosh, I prefer to be alone. Yeah. And I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. And and it's um and, and it's a hard balance because you love mm. what you do. You love performing. You love all this, but it's like, man, you just need a retreat sometimes. Yeah. Cause it's a lot. It's it's uh it can be overwhelming. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. You for know. Sure. That's Gerald and G Easy. Yeah. Oh, when I'm on Gerald o'clock, what? <laughs> Man, I'm chilling. <laughs> but don't you feel like being in New York helps you just be a little bit closed off yeah, from everybody you know else? Yeah, you know what's so crazy about it is because it's like, it's it's this like crazy, densely populated, packed city. Yeah. But that almost makes it more easy to just be alone. Like when I was living in Soho, you know, I'm I'm walking these blocks like I'm walking like 15, 20,000 steps a day. I'm outside like that's right. And but no one really bothers you. No because, one cares because yeah. it, amidst all the chaos, all this <laughs> is like no. And New Yorkers, they just don't care. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. only people who would stop me and ask for a picture is tourists. <laughs> Like yes. New Yorkers, if anything, they're like, "Yo, what's up, Gerald?" Yeah, and keep it pushing. Yeah, you Isn't know what I'm saying? The best? It's the best. It's like, the best. I be getting coffee, and I look behind me, and it's Chris Rock. Yeah, you yeah. feel I me? Mean? Like, ain't nobody bothered him. Like right. nobody's like, like you know, I'm like, "Yo, what's up, Chris?" I felt bad for that. Yeah, like, you feel me? He's like, oh, what's but up, you're a G? nice person. He's like, so "Oh, what's up, G?" And they yeah. keep it pushing. Isn't it? You know great? what I'm saying? So it's like, so there is some privacy and aloneness amidst the chaos. Almost, yeah. it's it's the weirdest like. Thing, but you gotta you gotta like experience it to believe it. It's like, but I loved it. I don't know. If, it. I don't know if I could ever see you back on the West Coast. Nah. Maybe in like retirement in Berkeley. <laughs> yeah, like maybe. For sure. Yeah. But I just don't. Yeah. I'm, I don't see it. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm thinking that. Like. Um. So my grandma just passed recently as well. That's my so last sorry. grandparent, and she was like on my mom's side. So she was my second mom. You know, feel me? Like, and spent a lot of years in her house in Berkeley, and. And I, th- I think I'm thinking that's the I'm trying to like keep the house in the family you that's right. and, and work that out so so I could Berkeley's you know special yeah, Berkeley's so special it's very special yeah. and I think retirement will be a good place mm-hmm. like for Berkeley yeah I, I could see you out there yeah 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 way down the road way 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 but down I don't the, see you I need ever a little in bit LA. more chaos <laughs> <laughs> you need a little bit more cha- New York yeah. chaos yeah yeah New York chaos not LA chaos it's yeah, it's, yeah no it's okay. And you know what? I love. I feel like you. Um, you know what? I wasn't surprised that you moved here, because it felt very fitting for you. Yeah, a hundred percent. I mean, it's, today I'm wearing colors, but but you know what I'm saying? There's no better city in the world to wear all black in. And oh just, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like and and, and nobody judges. Nobody uh, no. cares. Yeah. Nobody it's, gives a sweat at, at, at all. Like. <laughs> Ain't nobody tripping off you. You feel me? Nobody like cares. everybody's on their own time. Absolutely. You know, and they walk fast. Yeah. Like I hate when I'm walking down the block and I'm behind some slow walking people. I'm like, you tourists, <laughs> get up out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. You know who? I, I'm so surprised, and maybe you have already. <laughs> I feel like you're always walking around, and J. Cole's always on his bike. I, 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 yeah, I keep have wondering you, why I ain't seen him. He yeah. is always on his bike. Yeah, me too. I got like I'm on my bike, like. <laughs> You feel like I'm on the subway. I'm jumping in yellows. I'm on city bikes. I'm on my bike. Like, you isn't feel that me? so cool? It's the best. It's like, amazing. You know what I'm saying? And 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 now that I know the city, you feel me? Without like looking at maps and stuff like that, and just get like knowing my like you yeah know what yeah saying? yeah lay of the land and and, and kind of like sense of direction. It's, it's so dope. Like in the parks, it's like, beautiful. 
You, you know appreciate what I'm saying? In Oakland, yeah, we got the lake. You know what I'm saying? But like, there's a park every few blocks that's like, I mean, Tompkins is my vibe. You yeah. I mean, or or or, or busting that trip up to Central Park. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Or like, you know, even Washington Square. Or now I'm like by Prospect Park, but like, you know, it's just like having that nature. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Just being in it, in the midst of a concrete jungle, is so dope. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's the part. It's yeah. because that's not what we're always around for the most yeah. part, right? And I think we have a different appreciation when we live in New York. Just a different, like just the weather. Yeah. Let it be a sunny day. And you're like, Ooh. yeah, Yeah, but that's the thing. Because LA is sunny every day. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't feel sunny every day. You feel me? Yes. I don't. I be feeling like rain sometimes. Yes. You know, I be Thunder feeling and lightning. I be feeling sad. I be feeling like I need yeah. a great day. Okay. You feel me? But then when the sunny day comes, it's like, oh yeah, we got it. We got a beautiful day outside. Let me pop out. Let yeah. me hit this park. We appreciate it more yeah, here. We absolutely do. And I think. You know, people's like moods are like this. You know what I'm saying? Oh, They're yeah. not just like this. That's and, right. And and uh, like I'm attached. Like I'm 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 responding to the weather. Yeah. Like when I'm you know in that mood of like I'm listening to you know slow like old jazz and it's raining outside. I'm like I needed this today. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or or you know what I'm saying? I start my day with hypnotized mm-hmm. and it's a sunny ass nice but day outside. I'm like, so okay, let's go, go get this day. <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But I love but, it. but I'm not that every day. And I feel like so many people in LA got that fake cheery smile. Oh, this too much. Like another beautiful day. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, <laughs> I'm angry today, yeah, okay? Right. <laughs> I can't get, do it. Get up off. Yeah. yeah. It's too much like too much energy to keep up yeah. with feelings that you're not feeling at the moment. You know, you just you're just projecting them. You're just like Yeah. You know, these my affirmations and my blah blah blah. You know what I mean? Like And know. it's okay to say I'm not feeling good. Yeah. Today is the day I'm It's just okay out. to not be okay. It is. Absolutely. Where are things right now between you and BB Rexa? You know, she had made a post about you saying that you were an ungrateful loser something about your team contacting her for some content but where are things right now between you two i've i've not spoken to her in a long time i reached out after i saw that and i was i was a bit caught off guard i mean look at the end of the day you know i'll 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 sing the praises as loud as i can from a mountaintop you know i'm that song changed my entire life yeah um huge song I, i think the world of her you know, yeah. she's written so many hits. She's so talented. She's yeah. a superstar. She's she's had a chip on her shoulder because, you know what I mean, of, of, I think I, just in my personal, like, of, of her, you know, like how long she's been great, you know what I mean, and mm-hmm. how hard she's had to work. And, and yes, the industry is imbalanced, and it's, you know, it's, it's, yeah. it's treatment of women, and it's, you know what I mean, and she's also, as a writer, been a silent hero. You know, mm. like penning huge songs that people may not even know, you know, right. that somebody else sang. And that feeling of like, yo, you know, I get to see somebody else kind of like enjoy my shine for a record I did. Yeah. But no, nah, she's like, she's brilliant. Oh, yeah. You know, she's powerful. And I'm, I've, I've always been, you know, a cheerleader, you know, of her success, you yeah. know, becoming the superstar that. You know, her and I used to joke about who would be bigger or, like, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, way when we first made me, myself, and I, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because we both had these ambitions of wanting to be the biggest thing in the world. And, yeah. you know, she's 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 incredible. I, I mean, that's, that's about all. Yeah. Well, I, I hope you guys can have a conversation because yeah. maybe something happened. And, you know, it, it's the industry's interesting when you have teams and communication and all these things and it gets it could be um a lot of miscommunication but i i do you know think it's important that the nice things you just said right now Mm -hmm. if you guys get a chance to talk it'd be be good to see that back to communication i just hope like that we do get to communicate because you know i have nothing but love for her good and an appreciation and gratitude for you know all she's done for my career oh yeah, yeah yeah for sure you're a Warriors fan. Yeah. And Katrina B, the producer, is also a Warriors fan. How yeah, do you feel man. about Clay leaving the man, Warriors? And Clay's my guy, man. Like, I remember, man, we um man, it was it was the second championship. Um he uh he invited me to um to ride on the float with him. Mm-hmm. And oh, so this is like your friend. Oh, Clay's my guy. Okay, like, I thought everybody, you were just like, I'm, oh, he, like, like he, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with all of them, but like, yeah. but Clay and I were the closest. Yeah. Like, oh That's my, my boy. Oh, so you how do you me? feel? Oh man, like it, it was, it was crushing. But I also feel him, like you know, I mean, Clay, Clay has a big heart too, mm. you know, and 
you know, that feeling of, like, kind of being slighted, mm-hmm. you know? And, I mean, these guys put in work. Oh, like, yeah. I remember I remember talking to him, like, like, you know, because the amount of work it takes doing that rehab, like, like, you go from running up and down this court and the most, like, high-intensity, like, action, like, of a, of a game to, like, wiggling a toe type, you know what I mean? Yeah, and, yeah. and, like, slow down to that. Oh, my God, I would be losing it. <laughs> like, I'm used to, put me in a game. I'm yeah. trying to blah, 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 blah. You mean I can only just, like, yeah. that physical, like, like, rehabbing and, like, and it's and the patience and persistence and willingness and then the back-to-back injuries, you know what I'm saying? Like, that would just be crushing and, and demoralizing and heartbreaking, you know, to say yeah. the least. And then to come back and to be effective, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And 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 still, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he's second or third, like, best three-point shooter of all time. You yeah. feel me? He's right there. Oh, yeah. And and and, and still is, mm-hmm. a, is a lethal weapon. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Um, but, you know, yeah. But anyway, so I remember getting to his house, you know what I'm saying, for – for the parade, he was yeah. like, "RG, right, like, come meet at mine." You know, what I'm saying it's gonna be some family and friends and stuff. But get there at like eight in the morning. Everybody's already drinking. Yeah. You feel me? Like, <laughs> oh, it was the best day ever. And then we're riding the float. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying like, like down Broadway in Oakland. And yeah. I'm like, this is crazy because I used to ride the 51, yeah. like down the same, like you know what I mean, crazy. to get to and school. Now you're on the float. And now I'm on the float on the crazy. same block. Like, oh man, it was crazy. It was, it was, man, it was a dream. Um. So wait, can you still be a Warriors fan even though cuz Clay's your friend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it yeah. does it get weird for you? I mean, like Come on. Look, I'm a Clay, honest. I'm a Clay Thompson fan, you feel me? Yeah. But I'm also a Warriors fan. You yeah. Feel me? But at the same time like it's just not the same like I mean, Oracle was such oh, a different energy than Chase. Correct. Yes. Such a different energy than Chase. And um man, it's crazy. Um I was man, I think it was uh, man, it was it was it was during the finals when they lost to the Raptors. I think, um, oh, man, it may have been the game he got injured. But as he's coming out of the arena, I remember like I was standing at my grandma's and and she still she still got the newspaper. Yeah. And the front page of the sports page was a picture of Clay, and I'm right there, like, cause I was oh. close out and like dapping him up as he's you know what I'm saying yeah. like leaving the man, yeah, heartbreaking, but. You know, I mean, life goes on, and it's a business, also. Ah, uh, that's the part. It's it sucks, but it is. It's nothing you can do about it. It's a business. But do you look at like teams different now? Like you know him, right? Yeah, yeah. And now that you know, probably way more than we need to ever know, right? Because mm. that's like your actual friend. Do you look at it sideways, like eh. it's just? It's almost like now you know how the sausage is made. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but I mean, like, it, like again, there's nothing you could do about it. <laughs> Cause it's, it's it's it just is what it is. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, Katrina, how do you feel? Do you agree with the sentiment? Are you still? Well, you're not friends with Clay, so I'm not friends with Clay. your loyalties <laughs> to the Warriors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. You're good. You're good with it. Okay. So, do you you want him to lose when he goes to his new team? No. Listen, I want him to do good. But not better than the Warriors. Not too good. Not Not too too good. good. (laughs) Good answer. Okay. Okay. So it is the 10 year anniversary Mm. of these things happen, which I cannot believe it's been. It feels like time. Yeah. Where'd they go? It flew by. I feel like, yeah, we were just talking about it like. Like, it was, like, a week ago. Now, even before that, I remember seeing you at the radio station in the Bay Area and to see this come up and to see the success behind it. Okay, what would you say has been the hardest hurdle from then to now? Um, I would say doing it the second time and then Ooh. doing it the third time. Okay, Because it's, like, it's... I always knew, like, I was going to, like, I mean come hella hot water by hook or by crook Mm -hmm. you feel me like i'm gonna get this like i'm gonna break in this game i'm gonna gonna break a door down i'm gonna gonna pick a lock i'm gonna come in through the window or something i mean i'm 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 gonna find my way in this game like right i I love this too much i've been working too hard for too long you know but then you're in and you're like whoa oh shit we're here you (laughs) know what i mean i remember them like they the label was projecting we were gonna sell like like five thousand copies first week of these things happening something like that and we sold fifty, yeah you know and then that, and then it went platinum you know and it ha- had like two three songs that they went platinum tell the girls, uh, let's get lost and I mean it and um and more than went gold. You feel me? Yeah, <laughs> you have to say it because uh, no one else is gonna ah, say it. You feel me? Yeah. Ah. 
So, yeah, for sure. Um, for the kids in the back. Um, yeah. But, um, yeah, but then, okay, but now you're in the game, and then that's when the work really starts. And I locked in making a second album when it's dark out, and that's where me, myself, and I came from. Yeah. You know, I actually did a lot of it in New York. Oh, I recorded really? a lot of that in New York, yeah. It's crazy to think about. That is I, interesting. I spent, like, a summer here, pretty much. Um, yeah, at least half of it. And uh, th that's probably when my, like, fall in love with New York really happened. It really began. Staying in Airbnbs, like, in different neighborhoods, like Chinatown, yeah. you know, Williamsburg. Yeah. Like, it know, was amazing. Yeah, East Village. Um, but... Uh, to do it the second time was the but hardest. But to do it the second time, yeah. You, that's and the then, hardest in yeah. this whole journey. Yeah, I mean, I, that, that's just what came to mind. If I had to think about it more, I'd probably, you know, but, um, but because it's like, okay, now the pressure's on, can you really, really deliver? And came what I mean it. I mean, um, me, myself, and I. Yeah. And that's what you know. I played like 275 shows out of 365 days that year. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? That took me around the world. I was exhausted by then. You know, I'm 26, 27 years old. Like, and um, I remember coming home from like you know like a three, four month tour or something like that. And that's when I bought my first car ever. And it was that '65 Mustang. I still have it. I'll never get rid of it. And I literally told my whole team, like, I'm taking two weeks off, you know, me and my girl at the time. We're going on a road trip. Don't call me. Don't text me. Don't email me. Don't tweet me. Don't Instagram me. Don't look me, at don't me. Don't breathe my don't, way. Don't breathe my way. <laughs> yeah. Like, let me be. And, and and her and I, like, I had just got that way. I was, I was like, I was looking at pictures of it because I had bought it when I was on the road. And it had got, you know what I mean, delivered. Oh, wow. All that, so it was waiting for me at home. I couldn't wait to get home from this damn tour. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I, I felt like a kid on Christmas getting my first car and, you know. And her and I hit the road, left L.A., and I think the first night it broke down before, like, Santa Stop. Barbara. <laughs> Stop it. If yeah. people don't know L.A. to Santa Barbara, what is that, like, yeah. three hours, maybe? Yeah. Four, something if, like that. If, yeah. So you didn't get far, um, far. No. No. Like, and and literally, like, and then we'd have to it find broke. some mechanic, like, you know, and then and then we made it the next day. It broke down another, like, hour and a half later. But it but it became this, my like, God. we're just on our own figuring stuff out. And that was so different than my G-Eazy life all year where it's, like, you know, with a whole team around me all day, every yeah, day, yeah, yeah. and, you know, everything's, like, figured now I just out. get to be a person and figure it out, and it's yeah. just me and my chick, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But Bonnie you guys Clyde figured it shit, out, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 of course. Oh, but that's annoying. Yeah. And yeah. you still have the car, even yeah. though it broke down that many times? Now, now I've had the engine all rebuilt. I mean, I could drive that thing from L.A. to Connecticut if yeah. I wanted to. Yeah. What does that symbolize, though, for you, that car? Uh... Well, At I that always, moment in your life, like success, yeah, I did it. Yeah, success. And something about owning a car, you know, because I didn't own a house yet either. Um, so you owned the car before the house? Yeah, yeah. Got it. Yeah, I, just, I was renting a spot in L.A. at the time. I bought a house, like, shortly after that. But, yeah. you know, it's like, those are those are big boy stuff. And I didn't come from no, like, in, inherit, you know, or my mom give me a car at 16. Or not, that's not where we came from. Yeah. So it's like, uh, like, to get... A car or some like it's like it hadn't hit me that I had money yet, you know, because I never had money, so I didn't know what money really meant, and I was so scared of losing it that I wasn't really spending it yet at all, and like, so I think like getting that car was like, oh damn, it's like a big boy, like you're doing yeah, it, I'm doing it, like yeah. I'm actually doing what I love and I'm making a living yeah, off of it. Yeah, with hat on, come on, hello. <laughs> 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 what would you say on your journey, the one thing that you're most proud of? I mean, buying my mom's house, like, all day, yeah. period, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Do you yeah, remember man. that day? Do you remember it, like... Oh, my God, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's what I talk about, cry when I handed the keys to you, mm -hmm. you know, like, that, and and it, and it just being hers. Um, funny story, so I... um. You know, I, I was living in L.A., you know, when I got it for her. And so I would be back and forth. You know, I would drive up and down. Um, Between L.A. and the Bay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I drove the Mustang up one time, and and the house, it had a, a garage in the back, like a long driveway, and then a, a backyard garage that was almost like a guest house could have been kind of. Mm -hmm. And I was like, and that's where she had her art studio. And I was like, oh, I'll just park the Mustang in the in the one half of the garage. It was two-car garage, so right. I was like, I'll leave it here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I can have a car. She's like, no, you won't. 
I was like, what? what, what? She was like, I wouldn't park my car in your recording studio. <gasps> she was like, you ain't parking this car in my art studio. No. Your mom. It's not a garage. It's my studio. It's fool. my studio. <laughs> yeah. And did you listen to her? Oh, of course. Of course. What? <laughs> I was like, my, my, my bad. Yeah. Sorry, I thought. My bad, mom. She's like, don't, don't do that. Yeah. But it was so, it was so tight, like how she checked me like that. I love it. That's that's beautiful. What would you say? What are you most least proud of on this journey so far? I mean, I think you probably put some two and two together there. Yeah. You know, when one was together with one, and you know, yeah, like horrible things I'd done. Yeah, that's. But you know what? We're 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 getting through life, you know, yeah. and to see this evolution of you. Right mm -hmm. is really important. And listen, I could never be an artist. I am already sensitive. I am too mm -hmm. sensitive to put all my feelings out on lyrics and yeah. have people judge me yeah. and then wait for numbers to come in. And mm -hmm. at this point, you've gone platinum so many times. Do you care what the numbers have to say? Of course. Of course. Hey, and I love the honesty. Yeah, for sure. No, I mean, because, you know, it's 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 messed up. And you want to, you know, you have to, you know, like I've been saying, you got to be thick skin and tough on the inside and and sense of self and confidence and this that and the other but let's not all that all that aside let's not forget that at the end of the day you know i'm, st I'm still always going to be a level of insecurity mm -hmm. a level of you know what i'm saying needing validation and you know and there's a there's you know a part of this you have to be like selfish and vain and you yeah. know what i'm saying a bit self-absorbed to, to like have a whole team in a world that revolves around you and to push your face on the cover of a thing and your stuff and, yeah. and and then you know when if when it doesn't sell or something like that like you know they talk about you crazy it's embarrassing you know so of course um you know and and then there's the, the whole fear of like you're only as funky as your last cut you Ooh, know what i'm saying man. it's yeah. crazy it's like dang i could i could do all this for you and and i mean but athletes i mean it's <clears> never <throat> enough you're I only keep, as yeah, good as your last enough. game you're only as good as your last game and I mean, we keep circling back to this, but it's I think it's really relevant comparisons. It's like it's crazy what they go through getting ridiculed and ripped apart every day by journalists. Oh yeah. First take. You know oh what I'm yeah. Saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? God forbid you shoot over for ten in an elimination game and, and people hang on to that forever. Or rip oh you yeah. Apart, you know what I'm saying? Like like I ain't give you sixty off eleven dribbles. <laughs> like, you feel me? Yeah. Like I ain't give you like, yes. like let's talk about like yes. stop stop I hate the troll comments that yeah. he went zero for ten in an elimination game. Yeah. Nah, he he gave us sixty off eleven dribbles. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like what? But it's eleven so, dribbles. It's so easy. And then play the fourth quarter. And you know, here's the thing: it's so easy to focus on the negative. Like yeah. you have, I'm sure, in your comments, thousands of positive, great this, this, and then let it be that one person. One. Why does it do this to us? Man, it's it's the culture and day and age we live in. It's it's the trolling. It's the like. It's it's hiding behind you know. But is it? Or like, or, but I also think it's because you care so much. Yeah. Right, like about what you're giving, like the music. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So then you're like, no, how could you take yeah, that away right, from right, what right, right, I right. just gave you? I gave you my whole heart, heart. right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I, I, yeah. I, but I, I'd rather be invested. I'd rather be emotionally like invested and and give it my all than you know than to just phone it in. So I don't care what they say. I phoned it in anyway. I mean. But do you look at the comments now? I do. Do you? <laughs> I do. I, I I don't I don't like all the time, but like, but you know I I can't say hey, I'm like I I just I try to catch myself. I call it like black holes. Like yeah. oh shit, I'm slipping into it. I'm slipping. In, crawl back up before it's too <laughs> late. Out, get... Because if I sink too far down it, now I'm scrolling and yeah. I can't stop scrolling. But if I if I catch it like three little thumb swipes, yeah, you know. But by the fourth thumb swipe down, I'm 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 caught. I'm I'm down the hole. I'm in it. Yeah, I'm gone. Well. I, I appreciate you being here today. It's yeah. been too long, but more importantly, you're in New York now, so yeah. we must see you. Yes, yes, yes. Let's, let's do a double date. You know yes, what I'm absolutely. Let's, let's, yeah. It's going to be amazing. But before you leave, we do have a little gift for you because mm. we wanted to obviously celebrate so many things for you. Obviously, the 10-year anniversary. These things happen. Okay, we got you some cupcakes. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Wait, Katrina. Thank you. Okay. Look at the fumble. Ah, uh, it popped. You, way we to burst you. my bubble. Yeah, great. It popped right when I took it out. Uh. Wait, show the camera so that they know what popped. We got you a balloon that said, Congratulations. Obviously, we're Thank so you. excited for a new album, Freak yeah, yeah. Show. 
And more importantly, I just love yeah. seeing you. Yeah. And I'm so happy for you. You're such a special person. Thank you. It's, and, it's, it's so great to see you, sis. And, you know, anytime. Like, I, I'm also mindful, like, where I could read the room if somebody's moving away they want to move i'm mm -hmm. respectful but you know anytime you need us yeah. we're here for you love and i'm happy you're in new york yeah yeah enjoy it it's oh, the yeah. greatest yep I, and i i love you very much love you too and um come back soon okay for sure we'll do okay